Hi Techie guys, I am Nankishu Swami and in this particular tutorial we would be learning about user defined variables. So let's get started. Go ahead and hit to new and click on the task editor. So you would be prompted to this window. Under this window you, we need to go to the variable manager that is right side. Just go ahead and hit the variable manager and go ahead and click on add. So right now the default local variables are these two like my list and the prompt assignment and if we want to create our own variable then go ahead and click on add. So it would be prompted to what type of variable we want to create. So automation anyway basically support value, list, array and random type of variable. So we would be uh, covering the list and array in a different tutorial for the uh, for now for in this particular tutorial we would be covering about value and random. So value is something we create a variable and in this variable we can store any string value like alphanumeric values, any integer values like numbers, any boolean type value like true and false. So this variable will behave based on what type of value we're going to store into it. So say for example, this is a variable I'm going to create as uh, my name and I want to store as my name is Nand mm, and I'm going to say save. So now here is the variable that is created. If you want to keep the default value as null, we can certainly do that. And if we want to have like a, a number variable, then also the same variable can be used for the number and we can perform certain calculation, but it would be behaving based on what information we store. So it will act as an integer or a string type of variable or a Boolean type of variable. So how to use it in your automation. So let's go ahead and drag and drop a message box and again go ahead and hit F2. So wherever you want to use your variable, we need to use the F2 and find your variable there. So this section or this particular prompt window would have two sections. One is uh, user defined variable section, another one is system variable section. So under the user defined variable, we can find our variable name and click on insert and click on save and hit save click on run so it will show the variable values here so similarly if you want to store any like number and perform the calculation so we can certainly do the same type of variable we can use the same value type of variable Thanks for watching. In the next tutorial, we would be learning about uh, list type of variable and how to use the list type of variable.